Hi, I'm Scott Schmeiser, one of the coaches and athletes at the Peterson Performance Lab. Here to talk to you today about being more visible on, on your bike. Uh, as many of you know, I was, I was in a bad accident, hit by a car from behind. I could not change what the driver did, but obviously I could change what I could do, and that was to be more visible. So what I learned after uh, scouring the sites and seeing other people that were in accidents, um, be more visible during the daytime. And what I bought here was a $10 item at your local uh, bike, bike shop. Just plug it right around your waist, put it on the back. You can see that uh, all the drivers will be able to see you while you're riding your bike. Mike, uh, for this, this is just goes right around your uh, ankle. Plug it right around your ankle, it's reflective. So if you're riding in the early mornings or at nighttime, oh, and if you get this kind that wrap around, you can see those in the daytime as well. And that's the other thing I found is clothing. This, this fluorescent clothing, especially the yellow, there's orange as well. You put this vest on at any time, you'll be more seen with fluorescent clothes as opposed to just wearing your regular kit. If you, if you don't have one of these, five or 10 bucks, every bike shop, you put this on, you look kind of like a construction worker, but you'll be seen. And that's half, that's what we're trying to get to. Uh, the other thing I've, I've done is I ride early in the morning. I, I rarely ride at night, but in the morning it can be dark. So I put a light on my helmet. This one's from Cygo Light. It's 400 lumens, which is pretty bright. I recommend getting a light like this because it's chargeable and the battery pack is light and more lumens. Uh, the other thing I did on my helmet is I put reflectors on there. Easy stick-ons, again, your local bike shop will carry that. Put this on, it has a flashing mode, that's why I like the Cygo light. Flashing mode during the daytime can be seen from miles away. Uh, it also has five or six different modes, so when you're picking your light, look for one that has a flashing mode if you're going to be doing your riding in the daytime. I also put a mirror on this. Uh, again, like I said, I was hit from behind, so the mirror actually lets me see cars from behind, lets me be more reactive, lets me see the riders behind me if I'm riding in a group, etc. Nice little addition, another 15 or 20 bucks, local bike shop. Uh, on my bike, I've also put the same light that I have on my helmet. This is a Cygo light. It's a Mighty Cross, 400 lumens. They have different lumens, 350. They're all under 200 bucks. Uh, if you go above 400 lumens, you're gonna usually pay more. Uh, lots of good lights. Light in Motion makes another good light, front light. Again, chargeable. You see the battery pack right here. If you're riding a roadie, you can put it right on the stem. This, again, has the flashing mode. Great for daytime. If you're riding in the night, you can do three different modes. Your battery will last for eight, 10 hours. Um, the other thing I put on my bike is the same reflectors you'll see on my helmet. I put those on the spokes to see from the side. And of course, the rear light. For me, I had one of the rear lights that you can get for 10 bucks. I would suggest upgrading to something like this. Again, you're gonna get what you pay for. This is 80 bucks but it has more lumens, somewhere around 40, 50 lumens. It can be seen from way far, from farther behind. And it also has side, side lights as well. So you can really see those in the nighttime. That, that would help you be seen on the road. Thank you.